In this video, we'll discuss the alphabet learning game for exploring computer science. In this uh, game, you need to uh, have at least 10 different letters of the alphabet. Uh, you need to choose a theme for it, meaning food, animals, whatever your theme is. You need to have the command to click on it and have a change of costume with the mouse, changing it with a keyboard stroke. Uh, use the words to uh, save for a second to display Example, A is for apple, B is for banana, uh, and your sprites need to return when the green flag is clicked, meaning return back to their origin. So uh, the challenge here is you can use the microphone to uh, add sounds. So I'm just going to choose a sprite, and I'm going to start off by going to letters and choosing my A letter. We can see that here. I'll position it on the screen uh, where I want it. And the next thing I need to do is go under costumes. Well, I know I need a second costume for this. So I'm going to choose to upload my own costume. So I'm going to go to upload costume. I've already downloaded a green apple here. Now you're going to notice the size of this is ridiculously large. I'm going to want to shrink that down. I can come to my toolbar over here and let's cut this down by 50%. Uh, let's even cut it down more to 20%. There we go. Nice sized apple. Now I chose a PNG, which has that nice transparent background. Again, uh, I have a video on this previously on how to choose an image with a transparent background uh, from a Google search and then. Uh, actually downloading the image, not just sometimes right-clicking, saving an image as, because sometimes it will give you that checkered background not being transparent. So now I have my two uh, different options resized here. I'm going to come over to my uh, events and when my sprite is clicked, meaning when it's clicked with a mouse click. Well, what do I want to have happen? I want to go to my looks and I want to switch my costume to my green apple. Now you could also use the next costume block. Uh, it's really how you're going to want your program to run. So I'll give you an example with the next costume block because we've seen this previously. So now I'm going to click and we can notice that it goes to my next costume. So it clicks back and forth between the two. Again, I probably want to resize that A, but for this purposes, it will work. The next thing I wanted to do is let's do a sound. So I want to say a, a start sound. I have a record option here. I'm going to record and I can click record. Apple. You'll notice I can trim this recording if I need to as well. I'm going to save this. I'm going to name this one Apple. I'm going to come back to my coding and I'm going to change it from the meow to the Apple sound. The next thing that's required in this is to say something. And what I need to say is A is for Apple or whatever your theme and your uh, idea is. So now when I hit on my uh, Apple, I get my A is for Apple, Apple, and I hear my sound recording. The other part that needs to be done is I'm going to come back to my events and I need to reset this. So when that green flag is clicked, I'm going to go to my looks and I'm going to switch to my uh, costume back to my A so we can see that it resets each time. I'm going to click Apple. here. You may Apple. want to do additional coding uh, to have it automatically reset uh, after it's clicked, after maybe a wait command, after a specific amount of time, till it goes back to the original costume and get rid of this next costume block. Uh, but you can use different keyboard inputs now uh, to accomplish this goal of creating your alphabet game and I really encourage you to be creative and have some fun. 